Hello my followers to the world of Samaya. This is your guide, Carbreaker. Tonight I will take you back to Austria. And this will be a long one. That's what he said. Why so many Austrian videos, man? What about uh, Germany, Greece, Portugal, England and the rest of the world? The simple answer is I love Grüne Berliner. It makes tasty and food friendly wines and it is something completely different compared to the Riesling. Every wine rookie knows that the most famous wine placed there is Wachau, also called the Mosel of Austria. Just like Mosel, Wachau popularity boomed the prices. What are the budget friendly alternatives you may ask? Few kilometers up in the northeast you can find Kremstal, few kilometers from here and you can find the Kamtal region. So as you understood, this will be the topic of the night. Firstly, it sounded like an awesome topic. It's like comparing Poligny Montrachet, Chassin Montrachet and Merson. Well, apparently Wachau, Kremstal and Kamtal are quite similar in geography and topography. Wachau and Kremstal are neighboring regions and you will probably not even notice when you will cross from one to another. Kamtal is also closed going just a bit up but at least Kamtal is by the Kamp river which flows into the Danube while other two are by the Danube river. Soils are similar, climate in the end is continental warming up from the eastern Pannonian plains and cooling down from the north. Quality requirements are practically the same. Grapes mainly Riesling and Grüne Vettlina. That's it! That's all, folks. End of topic. Lucky is that Austrian winemakers like to make single vineyard wines. So I will concentrate on those. Going from the north to the south, I have for you three Grüne Veltliner. From the Kamtal, Wingut Perenhard Ott Enge Brüner Stein 2018. Kremstal is represented by Mantlerhof Moos Burgerin 2017. And from Wachau, Wingut Alzinger from Steinertal 2019. Let's go deeper. Wingut Bernhard Ott Winery is family owned since 1889, occupies 50 hectares of vineyards and produces mainly Grüne Veltliner with some Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling and newest edition Zweigel which makes Rosé. Stein Vineyard is not typical for the region because it consists not just of loess soil but also gravel deposited by the Danube River and some crystalline rock which is the cause of the name. The climate is Generally a bit fresher which gives wine lean structure and a lower alcohol 13%. Vineyards are up to 40 years old, harvest was done in mid-September and aging potential is up to 20 years. Next, Mantlerhof Winery is managed by Mantler family for over 200 years. They own 15 hectares of vineyards, mainly growing uh, Grüne Wettliner and uh, Rote Wettliner, but that's not it. They also own 70 hectares of fertile soil where they cultivate wheat, barley, soybeans and other tasty stuff. Moosburgerin is a small 4 hectare 20 year old vineyard. An interesting thing that 20 years ago it was replanted with female wines and now it is called Grüne Wettlinerin. Like in the vineyard before, here we have low soil under which there is a solid layer of chalk. Climate is formed by hot Pannonic plains from the east and cold Waldwirtel forests from the west. And the result up to 25 Celsius temperature differences between day and and night. Also, it results in slightly higher 13.5% of alcohol. Lastly, main good Alzinger winery, which I already presented in my other videos. Steinertal is a 4 hectare vineyard facing southeast, which means more sun and more warmth, but it is still cooled by currents from the north. Soil is based on the Gaufert Gneiss, topped with sand. Pure VSCT level 1 logic tells that it is the warmest place of those three and that's why it has 14% of alcohol. Now that we have an idea of differences, let's see how it transforms in the glass. Stein Kamtal has an intense straw color, nose has medium plus intensity aromas of lemon, ripe gooseberry, white currant, white apple, pear and celery. Mouth has medium plus acidity, medium alcohol and is bone dry. On the palate, ripe white currant and pineapple. Mantlerhof, medium plus intensity lemon color. Nose has medium intensity aromas of lemon, peach, white flowers, red stones, white pepper. Mouth has medium acidity, medium plus alcohol and is dry. On the palate, 
taste of unripe peach. And lastly, Alzinger has medium plus intensity straw color, nose, Medium plus intensity aromas of white flowers, white pepper, walnuts, lemon zest, turnip, and pear. Mouth has medium acidity, high alcohol, and is dry. On the palate, ripe pear. What are the conclusions? Well, great, well made wines. What I am not the biggest fan is white wine, where you can sense the warmth of alcohol. So from these three, my favorite is Ochtein 2018. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite region from these three. Don't forget to like and follow. Cool.